When we go through hardships, when we go through calamities, when something strikes you in your life that is displeasing to you, a person may ask, why do we struggle in this life? Why do we have to go through hardships? And there are many different reasons. And it's important for us as Muslims, anytime we go through any type of difficulty, any type of pain, to remember not just these reasons, but that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is watching over you. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is planning for you better than you plan for yourself. And He's more merciful to you than you can imagine. Protect the rights of Allah in your life and Allah will always protect you, whether you realize it or not. As for the reasons we struggle, I'm going to list eight different reasons that we struggle. And some of these will be in related categories. The first of which is oftentimes we go through hardship and our life goes through a detour in order for us to be purified of our sins due to our shortcomings. And the same way you find gold in nature mixed with sediments and impurities, gold has to go through a rigorous, severe heating process. Once it comes out, it's purified from all of the sediments and impurities and it becomes one of the most valuable commodities in the world. Likewise, when you go through hardship and you're patient for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Allah is using that opportunity and your patience as a purification from your sins. The second reason we struggle and go through hardships is to guide us back to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala when we've forgotten about Him, when we've gone astray. It is a reminder out of mercy from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to bring you back to Him. The third is oftentimes people will become arrogant or prideful in their lives. So someone succeeds at work or school or with their career and they think, I've earned this. And this pride builds up and accumulates. And to humble this arrogant person, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala out of mercy will put something in their life so that they'll go back to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Number four, in the beginning of Surah Al-Ankabut, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Alif la mim, أَحَسِبَ النَّاسُ أَن يُتْرَكُوا أَن يَقُولُوا آمَنَّا وَهُمْ لَا يُفْتَنُونَ Do people expect to say, I believe in Allah and not be tested for their faith? And oftentimes the hardship that comes to you is merely a test to see whether you are grateful to Allah or not. And this life is all a test. And so when the test comes to you, whether it is pleasing and easy, such as wealth, or it is difficult, such as poverty, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is testing you to increase you. Number five, we go through hardships because this life is imperfect. When a difficulty comes your way, remember that if you're looking for any kind of perfection, you're looking for a perfect spouse, perfect children, perfect parents, you're looking for a perfect job, a perfect car and a perfect house, even perfect health. You're not going to find any of these things in this world. What you're looking for is paradise. And so remember when something comes to you, a hardship comes your way, Remember that the purpose of this world is a stepping stone to the perfection of paradise. This life is not meant to be perfect for relaxation. Number six is oftentimes we go through hardships because of our sins as a form of minor punishment. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, مَا أَصَابَكُمْ مِن مُصِيبَةٍ فَبِمَا كَسَبَتْ أَيْدِيكُمْ وَيَعْفُوا عَنْ كَثِيرٌ Whatever afflicts you of hardship is from what your hands have earned. وَيَعْفُوا عَنْ كَثِيرٌ And Allah has concealed most of the rest of it. So what you're seeing is a fraction of your result. And oftentimes we look at the state of the ummah and we have to realize that there's a strong correlation between how far we are from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and the state of our well-being, the state of our brothers and sisters around the world. Number seven, we go through hardship in order for us to become stronger believers. And you will not have any type of growth or progression if you don't go through any type of pain. And so anybody who works out in the gym, they hear the phrase often, no pain, no gain. I mean, if you don't go through any type of pain, you're not going to grow. You're not going to have that newfound strength. So when you go through a difficulty and you're patient, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is increasing you in your strength as a believer. And finally, number eight, we go through difficulties and hardships and they strike us at random times, decreed by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will oftentimes close a door for you or cause you to go through something so that you can find a better door, so that you can find something better. And oftentimes people will say they've been through a certain business or they've been through a marriage 
or they've been through this and that. And they pray istikhara. And what happens afterwards when it fails is they'll be tested. Whether they realize or not that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave them this experience for a reason. And that had they not gone through this experience, they would not achieve that which is better. So when something is taken away from you, remember that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is planning something better for you. Ibn al-Qayyim rahimahullah famously said, if the believers could see how Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala was planning for them behind the scenes, how He was taking care of them, managing their affairs behind the scenes, then your heart would melt out of love for Him. Because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is always there for you. Protect the rights of Allah in your life and Allah will always protect you.